Greetings. I'm the concept artist of Installation 343. I am RoboGabo. This illustration for the anthology book is done 100% in digital form. The only time I use regular traditional media is to doodle on meetings, live drawing, or quick sketches for practice. I would say that 90% of the work done in 343 Industries is digital for me. The painting area is 5x9 more or less. I start with some brush strokes to get rid of the white canvas. Drop some hard shapes on top of a texture brush. Texture on top of hard shapes. I'm just trying to fill up the whole canvas and also establish where I'm going to put the character. Before starting this illustration, I did quick thumbnail sketches in black and white on how the concept for the cover would be. So I just follow that as I lay in the first basic colors. Using very fast and broad shapes of colors to define the helmet and elements. Again, I drop texture brush strokes on top of the more graphic brush strokes. Usually the more plain the brush, the easier it is to design, but it gets uninteresting very fast. As I advance in the process, I start using smaller brush sizes. I'm just thinking of the broad idea now. Everything is very hard edged, so I go and use a soft brush on top to add some variety of hard versus soft on the illustration. I have the basic idea and colors done, from view of a Spartan, and lighting from one side to break the symmetry on the illustration. I do line work on top. I'm not worried by the variety on weight in the line since it will be all covered by the later steps. This is just guidelines. We have some legendary edition helmets in our office, so we take photos for reference especially for the reflections on the visor. I keep doing line work and covering it up with more color. I start to define some of the details and also start to drop some texture brushwork here and there. This is the point when the work gets slower. For all this time, I've been working with the whole canvas on my screen, so now I zoom in on specific parts to clean and detail. Painting a little easter egg on the visor. Putting paint on top of the line work. Did I mention that it was useful to mirror the line work? It is the only thing I can cheat on since doing it for the render parts will mess up my plan of having an asymmetrical lighting on the subject. A lot of time has passed since this was started, so I'm starting to think this needs a little more contrast. Making the background lighter helps to pop the subject. I get rid of the line work. We are reaching that part in the process when I zoom out to see the whole illustration and think, what is the function of this illustration? A book cover. Well, you have to see this illustration from far away and notice it. I tweak the colors and bring the visor as my main focal point. This is done. We know it's a Spartan. We have the colors in place. Now I'm going to cut, move the stork and play around with what I have. Unless I do something horrible, the subject will still be recognizable, so I just have to worry to make this better. I squint my eyes and try to see the illustration in a different way. I bump the contrast. The next day I load the illustration and decide to stretch it horizontally. What is my main focal point here? The visor. The brightness of the background is stealing my attention, so I make it darker and now my eye goes directly to the visor, since it's the biggest, brightest area in a sea of dark midtones and accents. When we spend a lot of time on an illustration, we forget to take a break. This is sometimes important since we can come back to it with fresh eyes. I know I did, and I decided to chop and move things around to have different proportions on the helmet, made the bottom area wider, moved intake slower, etc. Tweak the colors again, and try a more orange color on the visor, even on the highlights. Here I spend more time cleaning the illustration, added contrast to the bevels on the visor, play a little more with the proportions, added some complementary colors in the background so the helmet will pop out more. Now I feel way better about the proportions than in the first steps. I'm pretty much done with this one, I just have to spend some more time cleaning here and there. I'm finally done. As a few last minute changes, I make the dark accents lighter and lower the contrast on everything except on the visor where I want your eyes to go. I also added cast shadows to emphasize the side lighting added a faint warm light at the bottom and cleaned the background a little more. And that's it. That's how I made this cover. I hope you enjoyed it.